people on Earth use nonverbal ways to communicate every day, like facial expressions, hand signals, body language, and American Sign Language. Astronauts in space have their own nonverbal way to communicate, too. During the uh, spacewalk and just generally during space operations all the time, communication is hugely important. So talking to the people who are outside, talking to the people on the ground, and obviously we have radios to do that, but a lot of times we wind up having to do that non-verbally. Hold on. Stop. The hold signal. So whether that maybe sometimes your ears may not be clearing fast enough as the pressure is changing, maybe you're, someone's helping rescue you, but you're still attached and you realize that. And so you, in, in any case, you give them a hold signal and that should tell everyone to stop uh, everything that's all the movement and kind of look around and for something that seems abnormal. You okay? I'm okay. We really want to check on each other, check on our buddies. So the way we usually do that is we use the okay hand symbol. Um, and so we'll use it as a question and as an answer. So if, if I'm pointing at Raja and then giving him the okay sign, I'm saying, are you okay? And if he is, he'll tell me, I am okay. I see what you're saying. There's a lot of nonverbal that just comes from knowing and working with people that makes a big difference uh, when you're working day in and day out, especially on a high stress thing like a spacewalk where just the look at someone's face can tell you like either, yeah, I'm good with this plan or I've got reservations, maybe we should, should stop and talk about this. And you can do all that with just a glance, uh, even through the, the glass of the, the space helmets. A handful of numbers. If you're flying formation, which we practice in the T-38, we also use hand signals just to keep up with those skills. And so one of the most common things is transmitting numbers with your hands. And so one, two, three, four, and five are pretty easy. And then the way we do seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, without taking your hand off the stick is to turn your hand horizontal. And so you can do the same thing with air pressure. So for example, if I had a problem with my suit and I was trying, she was trying to tell me you know, what is your oxygen pressure? And I couldn't talk because I had a communications problem. I could still tell Kayla, uh, you know, I could tell her a one, and then this would tell her one and six. And then, you know, I could do a combination of those numbers to transmit to her non-verbally what the state of any of my values uh, on my suit, whether it's suit pressure, water pressure, temperature, all the different numerical values, we can use hand signals for that. Maybe we could demonstrate a few for each other and see if we can tell what the other person's hand signals are. Uh, so I'll go first, Raja, and you can see if you, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. What do you think Kayla is trying to communicate? Is she telling Raja she can't hear? That he needs to clean his helmet visor? Or asking him what song he's listening to? All right, so what Kayla is telling me there is she's pointing to herself, which is indicating the person who has the problem. You could also point at someone else, but in her case, she's pointing at herself, so she's telling me she has a problem. And then she waved across her ears, which is telling me she can't hear. Okay, so let's say uh, we have that same scenario. So we've had some kind of loss of calm, and Kayla came to check on me while I was out on a spacewalk. When she got there, I might give her a signal like this. Can you figure out what Raja is trying to communicate? That they need to move to the other side of the space station? That they need to wrap up and finish what they're doing? Or is he asking her to do a flip in microgravity? So there, Raja would be trying to communicate to me that we need to speed things up. Maybe he has a problem that's accelerating or getting worse, so he's saying it's kind of an urgent situation here, let's get a move on, more or less. Next time you see astronauts on a spacewalk, look out for some of the hand signals you learned today. You can even try them out with your friends to talk in your own nonverbal code. For more fun with STEM, visit stem.nasa.gov.